In this procedure, I will be doing capillary blood glucose monitoring. What is capillary blood glucose monitoring? It is a test to measure blood sugar levels. This allows diabetic patients to make frequent adjustment in their caloric intake and use of anti-diabetic medications. First procedure, perform hand hygiene to prevent transmission of microorganisms. Introduce yourself to your patient. Hi, ma'am, sir. I am Baid Celestian, and today I am your student nurse. Can I have your name and date of birth, please? Check allergy band for any allergies. Complete necessary assessments, vital signs, and document on the medication administration record. Provide patient education as necessary. Review the patient's medical history for diabetes type, medications, and anticoagulant therapy. Determine the test requires special timing, for example, before or after meals. Blood glucose monitoring is usually done prior to meals and the administration of anti-diabetic medication. And the test may be scheduled at the very specific intervals. Having equipment prepared and available promotes organization, safety, and timeliness. Determine if blood glucose meter needs to be calibrated. Calibration should be done regularly to ensure accuracy of readings. Assess patient sites for skin puncture. Skin integrity at the puncture site minimizes the risk of infection and promotes healing. Perform hand hygiene. Hand hygiene prevents from transmission of microorganisms. Have patient hand wash with warm water or clean with an alcohol swab. Remove a radiant strip from the container and reseal the container cap. Do not touch the test pad portion of the radiant strip. Follow the manufacturer's instruction to prepare the meter for measurement. This prepare meter for accurate readings. Place the radiant strip at the glucometer on a dry, clean surface. Apply non-sterile gloves to protect nurses from contamination of blood. Keep area to be punctured in a dependent position and do not massage the puncture site. Avoid having the patient stand during the procedure to reduce risk of fainting. Select appropriate puncture site and perform skin puncture. Gently squeeze above the site to produce a droplet of blood. Do not contaminate the site by touching it. Transfer the first drop of blood to the radiant strip. Immediately press the timer on the meter. Apply pressure to the puncture site or ask the patient to apply pressure on it. 
read blood glucose results on the glucometer. Turn off the meter and dispose the test strip. This reduces contamination by blood to other individuals. Remove non-sterile gloves and place them in the appropriate receptacle. This reduces transmission of microorganisms. Perform hand hygiene to reduce transmission of microorganisms. Review test results with the patient. This promotes patient participation in health care. Document results. Results will be used to determine the patient's treatment plan.